Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest in Canada. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2016 Grade 3 4 Contest Question 11, which also came up in the Grade 5 6 and 7 8 contests. So the question is Ben's bike business sells bicycles and tricycles, but he always has more bicycles than tricycles at his store. There are 56 wheels in the store today. What is the largest possible number of tricycles at Ben's bike business? Alright, well, let's start off by trying this first option, which is 10. And we know that tricycles have three wheels and bicycles have two wheels. Alright, <clears throat> so for the number of tricycles, we would have 10 times 3 is 30. And since we have 56 wheels, 56 minus 30 is 26. Divided by 2 for the number of wheels on a bicycle would give 13. Which makes sense because there are more bicycles than tricycles. Oh, now let's try the next, which is 1 greater, it's 11. So 11 times 3 is 33. And since there are 11 tricycles, that means we would have to have at least 12 bicycles. So 11 times 3 is 33, and 12 times 2 is 24, and 33 plus 24 is 57, but we only have 56 wheels, which would mean that this would not work, and that means since all of these other options are all greater than 10 and 11, the option, the correct answer, the largest possible numbers, number of tricycles at Ben's bike business is a 10. But now, let's think if we had much larger numbers, in these options and or for example there were no possible options in a question well then we would need a different strategy and that is what I'm going to show next alright now let's call the number of tricycles T and the number of bicycles B now we know that there are always more bicycles than tricycles so therefore, the number of bicycles is equal to the number of tricycles plus a difference. And where this difference must be, can be any integer greater than zero. <clears throat> All right, now let's see what else we know from the question. Well, we know that there are 56 wheels in the store. All right, so 56 is equal to well, there are three wheels on a tricycle, so 3t, and there are two wheels on every bicycle, so plus 2b. Well, we know that b from here is t plus d. Well, 2 times b is 2 times t plus 2 times d. So we have 3t plus 2t plus 2d. Now we can add up these t's. So we have 3t plus 2t is equal to 5t. And then we still have this plus 2d. And since 2d must be greater than 0, we can tell, we know that this must be greater than the 5t. Okay. Well, that means that 56 is greater than 5t, because 56 is equal to this. So 56 is greater than 5t, so 56 divided by 5 is 11.2, and that would be greater than 5t divided by 5 is t. And then, well, we don't want a remainder, so the largest integer, which is still less than 11.2, would be 11. So therefore, 11 must be greater than or equal to t. All right, now let's, now let's try the biggest possible number for t, which would be 11. Well, we would have 5 times, well, yeah, we would have 5t, so 5 times 11 would be equal to 55. But here we have 56 wheels, so we would have 56 minus 55 is 1. Well, that would mean that this 2d would be equal to 1. 
and that would mean that d is a half, but we know that d must be any integer greater than zero, so it must be at least one and can't be half. So therefore, t equals 11 does not work, so we must try one less than that. So now let's try t is equal to 10. Well, 5t is 5 times 10 it would be 50, and 56 greater than 50, that works. And also 56 minus 50 is a 6, so that means that 2d would be equal to 6, and that would work because, well, 6 is then a multiple of 2. So that means that 10 is the largest possible number of tricycles, so we have t is equal to 10, and we had 6 being 2d, that means that dividing d or dividing 6 by 2 would be 3. So we know that d is equal to 3. And we know that from right here, b is equal to the number of tricycles plus the difference. Well, that's 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. So b is equal to 13. And now just to prove this, we know that there are three wheels on a tricycle, so 3 times 10. And we know that there are, then we have two wheels on a bicycle, so plus two times 13. And this is equal to 30 plus 26, which works out perfectly to 56 wheels, which is exactly what we had from the question. So again, the answer is 10. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carewithtests.com.